Please leave a message after the tone. You've got seven questions due. Your life is going down the tubes. What do you do when you need advice? Swear gets good. Good night. What am I fighting for? So turn your device, pick up the phone, and leave a message for the new crowd. After dark. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Nude Clan After Dark. I am your host, Caleb Schweiss. Caleb Craig. And Cameron. And today it looks like we have one precious voicemail to answer. One precious one? Yeah, and zero non-precious ones because we only have one. Let's see. Oh, no, you know what? It looks like there's actually two from the same person. So, hey. Let's see if it's a twofer or what. Hey, Nude Clan, it is your boy from Iowa calling in, a.k.a. Happy Ass White. I just wanted to call, and this one's more aimed towards Schweiss. Uh, I've been a proud, self-shaving, bald guy for about 12 years now. I feel like I wear it well, and I definitely shaved before I went through that awkward phase of losing the hair. So I can only imagine what you're going through, but at what point are you just going to bite the bullet and shave it off? I will hang up and listen. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Um, it's probably getting there. I mean, <laughs> you gonna go with the skullet? I think the skullet is a proud is is a <laughs> there are there are proud people those who wear the skullet, and I mean by shaving my head, I would just be giving into society normalizing hair. Or the extreme opposite, lack I'm thereof. I'm fairly sure that hair is pretty normal. It is. <laughs> but, I mean, it's Just like... normalizing, you know, either you have good hair or you have no hair. Yeah, yeah. He can't show his patchy bald scalp and then shoulder-length hair in public. Yeah, but I think a real... Uh, you know, I you could just pretend to be a burn victim. <laughs> yeah, just like... <laughs> just modify my skin... So that it looks like it was burned. Just, at one uh, point. just tell him you were or in an accident years ago, and you have some bald spots on your head. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Probably it's probably not that far off. Uh, I don't think it looks that terrible, but I also have started wearing a lot of hats. Um. Just wait till you discover the the scarf or not the scarf the uh, the bandana the turban oh <laughs> or yeah the turban there's a good <laughs> just wait till you, you know what you know what do the do the turban just wait until you discover Muhammad then you'll be just fine <laughs> no one will ever know well I mean they're not the only people who wear turbans but yeah I know I know but uh, they, it's a big it's a big deal it's a big part of the I'd say you should definitely try a turban what about a skull cap. Or do you have to be black for that? I don't know the rules. I know, I know Hulk Hogan does I don't it. Know the rules. <laughs> and Hulk Hogan is an abhorrently bald man as well. I so. do know you have to be a Jew for a yarmulke. Yeah, but the yarmulke, it would have to be a very large <laughs> yarmulke to cover up the, the spot in which hair is very, very thin. Yeah, you're, you're missing hair in the front, but it's more like a back. The... Yes. We... What? what, what, what? Does this part of the skull have a name? Yeah, it's the crown. Is that the crown? Yes. Okay, then yeah. That's, that's, that's where that's you would like wear right... a crown as... Well, no, the crown goes like around your head, not like on the top of that little... Yeah, that's what they mean when they say you're balding on the crown, though, is like the part that's highest up. Okay. Well, yeah, that's that's where you put the yarmulke. Well. So. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, so... I feel like it's probably only a, f- a few years away. I don't think my hair is that bad now, but it is. I can see a lot more scalp than I used to, obviously. But it's funny because I look back at pictures of me when I was like eighteen and nineteen, and I was I was thinning back then too. Like I could I can see it. Like Cameron now has well, more hair than I did then. I don't think you've <laughs> ever really had thick hair like Cam Cam and I. But I well, yeah, know. I don't have Cameron. Uh, Cameron has. The, the ultimate Jufro hair, so no, I don't have that. I don't, 
Nah, I don't have a Jew throw. Yeah, I just have very it, wavy hair. When Dylan, it grows out, Dylan has the Jew fro hair. When Cameron's grows out, it gets that way too. Not yeah, as it's much just, as it's Dylan's, just wave. It's super wavy. And if I feel like if I actually did full shoulder length hair, it'd be very full and luscious. Yeah. And not, not you should throw. give it a go. I don't know. Uh, I feel like it's just, just the in between stage. Just try, all, of growing just out try your hair. all new. Let's just all try new looks. So I just do full shoulder Schweiz length hair and turban. full beard. You get yeah, yeah. You get the full uh, the full combo. Start looking like Jesus. Well, what about <laughs> the red beard Jesus? That's right. What about because uh, Jesus is white anyway? So I mean, you might as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he doesn't exist, so I mean, it's fine. You can make him whatever you want, but. You know, no, no. The whole idea behind Jesus being white is that you're the savior, or is like, that he's a Jew? No, it's <laughs> it's that it's that uh, your culture's Messiah is going to look like your culture largely does, and so since ours at the time was mostly white, I just heard that there was white. An, there was a description, a Roman description of him that was made like years after the fact. That described him a certain way. It's so all of our modern depictions show him like based off of that description. Yeah, and which it's, is it's you know, because of false, that reason. But it's because of that reason yeah. that they, as a you know a messiah figure in any culture, it's going to look like the culture. Yeah, yeah. Sad. Sadly, it's not racist. It's just how it is. And of course, our culture now in the U.S. is so mix that it's like i mean i guess it's fine to it's appropriate to change it i i don't really i mean listen to my mom talk about politics it is true like the the chinese changed uh buddha to be a fat guy because they respected fat people more and yeah listen exactly to, and listen to my mom talk about politics the messiah figure is now in power so oh yeah 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 my mom's kind of a crazy person yeah but yeah i don't like her facebook posts me neither Every time I see one, I'm like, <sighs> I'm surprised you guys are still friends with her. I mean, I'm not. She unfriended me when uh, I untagged myself from one of her political posts. Really? Yeah. Wow. She uh-huh. unfriended you for that. Yeah. Huh? Wow, dude. That is. No, but she did a lot more than that. <clears throat> but uh, that's a topic for another day. Hmm. Just... I think it's a topic for now. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's our uh, what's our other voicemail? Uh, what do you guys think I should go bald though? Like, what do you? Think I mean, I it's really it? up to you, and you should probably talk to Alex about it as well. But yeah, I mean, she probably has a, a better idea of it than but me. But you we're should gonna, try. We're going to go with the comedic like, answer. Seriously, you should just go do it. I was going to when I cut my hair into the next the next time, but she likes my curly long hair. I mean, but honestly, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> right now, take take off your uh, hat real fast. Honestly, right now, I'm really into the idea of you doing a turban. It might look better if you have washed and combed, but it looks like a bad comb over on the front. Yeah, it does look worse when I because I haven't showered today because I woke up to Cameron playing a fucking. Megadeth song, right just to ser- serenading him that's, with some Megadeth toy. Come isn't up. that how you always want to wake up? I though? mean, he did wake up headbanging. So what do you want? Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I I prefer to wake up with Cameron's balls in my face, which is about <laughs> half of the time. Yeah, no, actually, that was only just the one time. It's like I'm either going to get Megadeth or I'm going to get a big old ball sack, and I'm like, Ugh. and I'll just bat at it like a little kitten, you know, just like, <laughs> all right, I'm getting up, <laughs> just. <laughs> like a little speed bag. I, I just like I just like push him down like the alarm clock. <laughs> Five more minutes. <laughs> it's go time, bitch. It's like if I push the left testicle up, it's oh. it's a snooze button. If I push the right, it turns it off. I, I think you got to pull the lever actually. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm awake. I'm awake. <laughs> oh man. Uh, uh. Okay, you know what? I'm going to get I'm I, okay. So fucking for some reason I'm I'm trying to get the Twitch chat up, right? And there's no fucking chat button. Like where the fuck is the chat? There's video preview. There's fucking raid and host. There's stream markers there's gifting there's fucking how good your stream health is where's the message board what the fuck Mm. what is this is this some new age bullshit that like we no longer want to see like oh we don't want people to see the chat because it can harm where the fuck is it well my question is uh 
I'm looking at turbans right now, and it's only showing me turbans for women. What the fuck? Schweiss, you want you want a ladies turban? No. All right, I'll try to find a man turban. <sighs> well, I guess just fuck you guys then. Uh, that is, that is a shawl. That is not a turban. I can see. I can. I guess we'll have to catch him in real time on the fucking. Because we can pull them from Twitch and put them onto the video, which yeah. we have done. Mm-hmm. And that's fine, but we can't fucking see them outside of that. So, yeah, fine, whatever, fine. It's cool. All it's- right, I dig this. What do you think came came that for Schweiss? Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll just be. I'll just. You'll come in and like the. You know, just, that fucking reminds me of what the fucking like cartoon uh, a picture of a turkey that has like little caps on the nubs of its leg. <laughs> <laughs> Choice is just a, a drumstick. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you're going to come in and it's going to be like you'll open the door and smoke will just billow out and I'm just sitting in on like a <laughs> on a Persian rug with like a hookah 24-7. <laughs> oh, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to whip on this? It's, it's real intense. Why is your net uh, like a turkey leg from fucking Disneyland? <laughs> hey, don't be racist. It's a <laughs> turban. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> That's fucking perfect. Uh, yeah, uh, right, I'll probably. Do you, do you want the white one or the red one? Oh, red is pretty good. Yeah, red's a powerful color. Um, but yeah, twice we should do it. Do you want to stream it? Buzzing my head. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like a very fucking life falling apart thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Better make sure it's public. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I was thinking maybe a grown a little longer and donated the locks of love, but I don't think they'll take your uh, my thin hair. Yeah, I mean maybe if they just wanted <laughs> enough hair to make half a wig. All what right, if I'd they spot you that turban? What if they want? Uh, what if they just want to do a skullet wig? Like, what if someone's like, you know what? I don't want to be not bald. I just want to have a skullet. I want to have some <clears throat> hair. You know, I, I think skullet is power. Honestly, I think, I think we've been denying ourselves the true bald man power. I love and, you how know, like every character you can create, you manage to like just always do a skullet. Yeah, it's because it's powerful looking. It's like wow, that looks so heinous and so <laughs> obscene that like <laughs> like nothing, you've got to have cur- nothing, you've got to have confidence. Nothing showing it like th- there's no look other than a '70s brown suit mustache aviators and a fucking skullet all together exactly like how like you that means you are impenetrable someone will look at you and they will know there is nothing i can do to this man to harm him (laughs) to harm his self i mean that's kind of true if if you're walking around with like a skullet it's like one of not fucking care what you think you either have like massive big dick energy or you just like don't give a Book. Yeah, exactly. So I think I mean you know it, you can you can you can <laughs> you shave no, your head like no shame, <laughs> no Craig. What? So uh, Schweiss just goes full skullet, right? Right. And you should go full fryer. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. that. You would look perfect for it. No, <laughs> oh I'm not. You really that. would. <laughs> That is that is that is an <laughs> awful that idea. Would be perfect. Dude, I have beautiful <laughs> hair. I am not fucking getting rid of my hair for a joke. <laughs> It'll grow back, It'll Craig. Grow I'm back. like, no, see, mine won't. So, uh, and that's why dude, you're perfect, dude. dude for it. I, you bought him a turban. I'd fucking buy you the robe. The go dude, with it. if you now, I'd yeah. Since we're robe. buying each other costumes that we're now <laughs> mandated to fucking wear. <laughs> No, I just I just like the idea of Schweiss and a turban. It seem if it seems right. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I, I even got you the red one. It was only like eight bucks. Oh, Craig. I need to see you with a fryer haircut. No, that's never gonna happen. I think it sounds pretty sweet. But yeah. Uh so you know, it'll happen and I'll I'll maybe I'll show it to everybody. Let's see what else he asks though. Hello, Caleb, Caleb and Cameron. It is your boy from Iowa calling again. I got another question. I'm sure it's been asked before, but why not revisit a good topic? What is each of your all time, hands down, favorite porn category? 
Oh and uh, I, I just want to go out there and, and throw. Did he say hands down or pants I, down? Cameron <laughs> is lesbian. Schweiss, you're probably into something weird, kind of like pegging or something like that. <laughs> I bet, Craig. Boy, I've got you figured out as uh, somebody who likes Arabian women porn. You know, some of the darker meat, mm. but from a different country. You know. Anyway, I'll hang up and listen. Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, man. I do I do appreciate the exotic whippings. Yeah, you like the dark meat on the turkey? I, I do, yeah. <sighs> I can appreciate it. I appreciate all kinds. Yeah. I don't know if I have a favorite, necessarily. <laughs> you know, every time porn's brought up, <laughs> we have to dive into Schweiss's fucking... Deep dive. I, this fucking the depths that Schweiss goes to for his the, porn. The fucking machines and then the Olympics. All right, I've told the story a million times, but here it goes again. <clears throat> so, borrowing <laughs> the fucking Schweiss's PS3 because I didn't have one. There's some games I wanted to to play, and uh, you know, Black and then Call uh, Modern Warfare Three and stuff like that. Um, so Schweiss, you know, let me borrow his fucking PS3. And I don't know why I launched the internet browser. I <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, I don't know. I think I was going to look for something um, as far as <laughs> yeah. the game I was playing. And I go in the fucking history. I'm like, <laughs> what's this? <laughs> don't invade another man's browser history. I'm yeah, telling you. You learned some weird don't stuff. Don't fucking do it. So... The Porn Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> the current category is scored distance. <laughs> yeah, that's the only category I cared about. Like, there's the porn curling, or you just you got the you chick. Just got this fucking jackhammer dildo machine just fucking going. <laughs> And then they're all sitting on like fucking uh, like the little large fucking rollout sheet of brown construction paper with like distance marked out on it. And the whole thing was to see which, you know, pairing could go the furthest. <laughs> yeah, they got some range, man. Like I all right. I, 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 I don't know. I started at first it was savage, you know, I was like, Wow, this is crazy and then like I got really into it and I was like, such form, you know. <laughs> So like right before it happens, you could see him just like kind of like. Was the clench. scientific interest like before or after you came? I I didn't. I don't. <laughs> that sounds. Like I don't remember. That's like an after topic. Like, like the after the, the <laughs> yeah. post nut clarity. Like, <laughs> yeah, the, you're never. Your mind is never as clear as it is after you. Twice after nut. <laughs> yeah, your mind is never as clear after you after you nut to the 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 porn Olympics. Uh, no, I don't think I. I don't remember ever masturbating to that video, and but you do remember the video. Oh, I, I, of course, I remember the video. <laughs> I remember it. Vividly. Do you remember I'll, who won? I'll remember it to the day I die. I, think I was, probably will too. I mean, we bring it up often enough. I think it was the girl on the right, but I don't. I don't even remember who won. They both. They were both. It was a. Fair, I don't know if I finished it because yeah, I don't you, know if that's my cup of tea. I don't know. Well, yeah, you you you, you beat off before you 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 done you done it. You got to the end, and then you just go to sleep. Uh, I don't believe I ever masturbated to that video. I don't know for sure. Um, of course, it was there just for science. Yeah, it was just it was, science. It, it, was uh, it was a quick link to the other videos that you could uh, compare to. Yeah, well, I mean, I had that one. I had another one that I found where a dude like put his head inside of the the chick's vagina. Yeah, I remember hearing about that one. I, I got into a phase where I would just find things on there that I would <laughs> laugh at, and then that's why when I found 4chan later, I was like, oh my god, this is perfect. Like, This is the site that I've been looking for my whole life. Uh, 4chan honestly does seem like it was made for you. It's Are just, you 4chan? It is hilarious and horrible and just god, dude. Uh... No, I, I I love it, though, because Cameron didn't approach me about it until years later. Yeah. Is the thing. And so I was, like, dying when he told me. And I was like, oh, no, that was, like, one that I thought was really funny. And I watched, like, four times. Oh, right. And uh, I was, like, I, I was dying at the idea that, like, all these years, Cameron, every time he looked at me, he knew. And he, and he thought that was the thing. I don't think I really cared. I think I just brought it up because I thought it would be funny at the time. Yeah, you weren't as traumatized as I would like to have believed. Yeah, no, it's just like, I mean, it would have been different if it was a different kind of porn I stumbled into, but you know. Yeah, yeah like bearded bearded men with red beards, but only brown hair. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
<laughs> be like, what? Be like, fucking, <laughs> yeah. be like fucking Joe discovering the transsexual porn magazines under his uncle's bed. Yeah, yeah. It'd yeah. be like that, yeah. Just some like, oh God, some horrifying, just I know things now. Um, Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't really, I guess it's not really a favorite. Just It's like someone's getting plowed, I guess. I don't know. Like it, It's weird because like, the whole lesbian thing, like that was cool when I was like, you know, 16 and now I'm just like, yeah, I don't really care. It's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy taking 30 minutes for that ladies. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to move on. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not, it's just, it's lesbians. It's like, you know, they don't like you is the thing. Like they're, they're fucking lesbians. So like, what's yeah. the, what's the f- appeal? What's the fantasy? I don't know. It's probably just seeing two chicks at once. Yeah, I mean, there are other videos for that. Yeah, two girls, one cop. Yeah. No, no, that is not did you, a did you ever sexy say, video. God, did you, that is awful. Well, the first, like, minute. I'm the only one that has seen that at this table. I watched it. So you see, so you see. So, what about you, Craig? Dude, did you ever say what your favorite category is? My favorite category. Celtic woman. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, if that was one, sure. It just but transcends. I'm fairly certain. That Don't they already isn't. have a redhead category? Yeah, that, I, you that know what? I do work, appreciate yeah. the redheads. That's true. I appreciate you. <laughs> As he watches them just being demoralized and, you know, yes, objectified. Like, I appreciate. I, I, appre- I appreciate what you do for, I, the, for I, me. I appreciate you for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> yeah. If, if there was ever if, a category if for... If vanilla um, is a category... <laughs> that's me. Vanilla, huh? Just like plain. Mm. Not not vanilla ice. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> God, I, can't, I can't just say vanilla anymore <laughs> without yeah. having like... It means something else. Something <laughs> without it meaning something else. <laughs> He's not thinking about... You know, whole fucking category. Uh, I would, I would try. I would, I would like to forget that exists. Thank you. <laughs> it's just a memory we have to make sure it's still fresh. God, in mind. yeah. Because you know, I, whenever we say it, that's immediately where you go to. Just the fucking girl. Well, it's just like. <laughs> It's because that's what everybody like <laughs> thinks. It was just like, oh, every time somebody says vanilla, they're always like, oh, guess what that means? Uh, the fucking gurgle noise. That's uh, that's gonna haunt you forever. Yeah. Well, did it make that sound when it was pouring? Yeah, did you like, remember that? Oh, 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 in, his, in his asshole. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Do you, th- do you think he was doing that on? Do you think he was doing that on purpose? I think you should listen to that episode again. <laughs> do you think he was doing that on purpose? Uh, <laughs> you knew you were in there. My answer to that choice is for you to listen to that episode again. <laughs> okay. It's, uh, Anyone who Mario wants me to review. speak more on anything of that, uh, just my listen answer to, to you again. is listen to Paper Mario. Man, apparently I'm becoming the, the stream messiah here. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> and the Lord did shine upon the dude. <laughs> yeah. He's got to block out Shrek's uh. face. Too bad that little window doesn't have a little uh, little drape. That's not going to help, Craig. The sun is fucking oh, shining. Did that change anything? Though? It helped no. a teeny bit, but it's like the sun is too bright. The sun is shining directly on the camera. What do you fucking yeah. expect? I don't know. Uh, there we go. Uh-huh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Now, now Craig Cam- is. Now Cam Cam is the holy one. <laughs> this is uh this is this is terrible podcast, but it's awesome video. So yeah, it, it uh, is just a reminder to great check video. out check out our stream. We'll stream yeah Twitch TV slash Nude Client Gaming, um, where we're currently if, working uh, on getting banned. Uh, uh, Abrek said something about Cam Cam's being uh, hentai because he's a closet weeb. Oh um, yeah, no. If uh, and then mine only have to mine have to have dicks in it. Now look, here's the difference between me and Joe. Uh, I listened to an old episode. I think episode. he was saying that about me because I said vanilla. No, it was me. No, it was, oh, it was definitely for Yeah, because yeah. I said as long as someone's getting plowed. Oh, okay. Here's the thing. 
Joe in an episode of Ultima said that he hates the nasties, like the 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 waste region. What and like you, what? that's what oh, I, okay. that's where I go. You know what I'm saying? Like that's <laughs> the anal. No, no. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Well, he's talking about like the, your your the, genitals the, as a whole. He likes he's a tits guy, right? So I uh, I am too. I mean, obviously, but but Joe likes seeing someone get plowed too. He just doesn't like the undercarriage shot, right? Which right. occurs in most videos. Yeah, I I. I, I, you know, it's he. He doesn't even like solo videos. He loves there being a dick in the video. Well, I, I you know, that's what? what he likes. I, I'm saying that it's like you know, I have a dick. Yeah, it's but he doesn't like the... the vagina either. That's what. That's the funniest <laughs> no, that's, thing that's... to me is because like he's described that he's described that he doesn't like the vagina, and he doesn't like the undercarriage shot. But he does need there to be a dick in the video. In order for him to get aroused. All right, so here's my thing. It doesn't have to be... You don't have to have a dick, necessarily. Although, I, the undercarriage shot is funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just like, What's I funny? Like, I, like, I like seeing just... man ass and then the backside of someone's balls. It's, I mean, that's hilarious, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what's, what's not funny about that? I mean, we're laughing, right? We're laughing our asses off. <laughs> Right now, <laughs> I, I think. I mean, when, when you're looking for a video, it's not funny then. No, that's, that's true. It's, it's, o- it's only funny in retrospect. It's, it's only funny afterwards <laughs> uh, when you're just like lol and didn't you just go like, to sleep. Tosh or whatever have like a fucking like sketch about about a video like that called Peanut Butter Slap is what I think he, this is called. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> I, uh, I think I think Joe said it's it's all function no form. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that, but you know, oh. I don't know. I don't know if there's like a particular type. I mean, uh, Joe, I, is, one thing that I don't like is like porn stuff. Joe is so. very uh, form over function. So <laughs> when I used to. When I used to watch it all the time as a single man, like I never got into a particular porn star very often because they they always seem so fake to me, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, and like, they I are guess actors. They but... are, yeah. So I guess I always watched more like amateur esque stuff, which I know isn't. I guess some people have said it's not really that amateur for the most but, time, yeah. But I mean, it's not they like all it's not like someone with like fake tits, Just fake like... lips, <laughs> and you know, a fake ass. It's. Yeah, just regular people. I don't know. You know, if uh, crushing watermelons between thighs was a porn category, fastest click. Yeah. I, I'm sure there's something with thighs, Cam Cam, that you can look up. Really? I, I'm I'm fairly certain. Yeah. Maybe. I know for a fact that is a kink. So. You know, I really do like uh, thigh highs as well. I wonder if that's a thing. It is. It yeah. is. Yeah. Okay. You have you you are speaking to two scholars on the <laughs> teach me category scholars. Teach me the ways. Yeah, teach not, me the not, ways not too of much tag because I I don't like the grundle. I mean, or the <laughs> the fucking taint. Not like you do the grundle cam <laughs> <laughs> from down under <laughs> the balls. I think that Schweiss like really likes the undercarriage shot because it reminds him of that one part in uh, Stick of Truth where you got to dodge the balls. Yeah, yeah, man, that game is so fucking hilarious. <laughs> they had balls in it. It's so funny. It's... I mean, it is kind of funny. Like still looking back at that part, we have to like get around the balls. <laughs> yeah, or the it's just, like plowing your mom. Or the the fucking uh, the Nazi. The Nazi, uh... The zombie fetuses. The, the Nazi zombie fetus, yeah, that was fucking hilarious. Yeah, they used to just, like, all start shouting, like, Hitler speeches. Yeah, like, fucking what? Uh, I love that game. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's... They explained it as it being, like, a Taco Bell that they were building. Some yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, all right. Any other grievances you guys want to air on the show? I mean, I, I recently brought up the underwear thing again online, and I got some responses saying that most people go over the fence. Now, I talked to you guys, and see, this conversation with Craig led to some real anarchistic bullshit from Craig. Where Craig was like, <laughs> Craig was like, you know, they should just get rid of urinals. And I'm like, no, Craig, no, you know shut the fuck up. I have that belief 
strictly because of my work. All right. I'm sick of there only being one bathroom stall close to me. And I mean, it I always am... being occupied by some dude who's like using it as a bathroom break to uh, look at his phone. I am fine with unisex bathrooms because everyone gets their like private stall bathroom. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Like it's if, comfortable. If, no, if, it, dude. It, it, it also means no. like we just get more overall stalls, which means that, that the one stall that's being shared by like eighty people isn't being taken up by the one fucker who needs a like a, a ten minute break to look at his phone. If we have unisex stalls, there have to be fucking urinals, dude. The urinal is the why? reason why there are no lines. No, you can't in have men's you bathroom. can't have urinals. In yes, you can. Because a unisex means both, and guys piss standing up. So having the thing to piss and do standing up makes it part of the fucking uni. It just doesn't mean the girls can use it too. You can use the room. You can use the room. You can use the stall. The only way that you you can do that is by having those like those Japanese urinals, the ones that are like on the floor. I find I don't care. You know what? You know why there's no line in a concert place? Still be really awkward. You know why there's a lot of people? You know, well then don't fucking do unisex bathrooms. If it's awkward for you, then it's apparently not for you. I just don't think you understand the concept. No, I don't think you understand, Craig. Here's the problem. I understand it perfectly. Here's the fucking problem. At concerts and at big shows, no line for the men's bathroom. You know why? Because we have dicks and we can pee standing up, and we do. Because there's a wall of urinals where everyone can whip their dick out and just take a piss and then leave. All the girls have the stalls, and they take forever because the stall, you gotta fucking walk in, you gotta turn around, you have to close the door, lock the door, the lock's always fucked up, so you have to, like, adjust the door a little bit to line it up with the shitty lock because it was put together by some government contract retail hard so once you get it fucking locked then you can like pull your pants down take a seat take a piss wipe your fucking vag lips stand up turn around flush it turn around oh fuck with the door again because it's still a piece of shit get out go wash your hands and leave by then there's like six dudes have whipped their dicks out and pissed into the urinal like fuck that dude fuck that i mean we can even fucking double up on urinals man we can can tag team those fucking urinals (laughs) we can make no lines and you know what craig i think every urinal is gonna be that one picture of the five black guys with the one tiny (laughs) white girl dude i fucking love urinals caleb (laughs) I I realized that Schweiz. it's so convenient and like if we're gonna have a unisex bathroom, uh, I just for some reason just got a picture of you know you know how certain uh, showers are just that pole with the shower heads pointing out, but yeah. just that but a urinal, <laughs> just yeah. dude standing around a circle of <laughs> urinal, and you could have like five of them in one bathroom, like you could fit thirty people pissing at the same time, as long as they're of average uh. width and weight. You know, you're all just pissing into this one <laughs> hole in the middle. No, but I, I really, I, I mean, I think urinals are genius, and we need to understand that, like, our basic bodily, like, physiology, they, we're different. Girls can't use the urinal, obviously, because it's fucking just goes crazy. And if we're going to have a unisex bathroom, that doesn't mean we... Let me uh, introduce you to a product. The I, I have seen it, yeah. The Shiwi? <laughs> yeah. The Shiwi. Either we make Shiwis <laughs> uh, mandatory or... And, and see, <laughs> it's a Shiwi only bathroom. <laughs> yeah, Shiwis only. <laughs> Is that tra- is that a trans thing or what? <laughs> oh, it's just like a funnel that's shaped so that they can put it so they can pee in a yeah. urinal. It's a uh. it's a funnel for their pussy lips <laughs> to to piss into. No, and, and so here's my here's where I'm coming from. <laughs> and, you gotta bring that into it too. And 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 urinals <laughs> urinals use less water. Urinals are more efficient. They're easier to they're easier on upkeep. Like they're, they're yeah. amazing. Oh. If we're gonna go unisex bathrooms, I think we can't get rid of urinals. And if that makes women uncomfortable, then I guess we can't do unisex. So bathrooms. unisex bathrooms, but a urinal closet. I, a closet. I don't know if I like a closet because, like, if it's if it's in a stall, then it defeats the entire purpose and ease and speed of a urinal. That's why men's bathrooms are better. It's because we, I mean, it's we're faster. It's not like it's not like 
women choose to have to you know do that but because we can be faster we are thus faster and if we all have stalls then it's not going to be faster it's going to be it's going to take longer and i hate that fucking nobody wants to wait to go to the bathroom by seconds it doesn't matter compounded by hundreds of people at like a live concert or something that's a lot of fucking seconds when you have to piss and there's 70 people in front of you and half of them are dudes but they're gonna have to go into a fucking stall that's why those places have like a shitload of bathrooms but they're all fucking stalls under your regime you're sick twisted I'm fat and I if have to sit to piss twice. I can't if it find honestly my dick. didn't matter where people were going to the bathroom, then they have twice as many bathrooms for everybody to just go to. Right, which but the means, women will invade. Which means, Craig. which means that there wouldn't be any dudes in those in the waiting because they'd already be done because it'd only take them two seconds longer to fucking close the door behind no, them. Here's why, and then they'd leave, and then the women could go to both bathrooms. Here's why that's not true. How is, is that not true? True. It's because the the line the line for the women's bathroom, yes, it would be less, but it would be less on our dime, and I won't have that. It, it'll be there'll be more bathrooms for everyone to use, but the dudes. It's not like the dudes' bathrooms aren't full at these shows. They are. They're just rotating efficiently and quickly. If you add, if you make it all fucking stalls and everyone uses whatever that huge ass line of chicks. That's all in yours now. <laughs> You're assuming that 50, all these people 50. are like only taking a leak, man. So who shits at a concert? There, there are mean, obviously people. I mean, there, it's not healthy to keep it in. If you have to shit, you got to let it yeah, out. Yeah, dude, that that will like long term. Have you, you ever up. tried to uh, to mosh and full of shit? No, I <laughs> no, I guess not. It's not fun. <laughs> It's not even possible. Squoes out of you. <laughs> yeah, it's so just trying to do anything that's intensive while needing to take a fat shit is just not fun. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I, I don't mind the idea of those bathrooms, but I do think we need to have urinals still because they're just so easy and so great for dudes. And I honestly like I, I and I think well, if you're thinking about to, uh, they're trying to defeat in a that by giving you these uh, these fucking underwears that don't have the hole in the yeah place. yeah they are they are and you know what like there's they, they, I, I don't understand I just, that claim that dudes don't use that it doesn't make any sense to me i think they need to like literally every single that pair survey. of underwear has been made for that since like the beginning of time yeah boxers boxer briefs and then just briefs all have that fucking hole for a specific reason and nobody uses it yeah even even overalls, you know, they have overalls that are made for that same purpose because you stick it through that hole. What if you what what are, what, are, what are these people talking about? Like that the dudes don't they go under like over and under? Like do they fucking pull their underwear down, stick their dick out through the zipper? Like what the fuck is that? That's like that's more work than seems necessary. Yeah, Abrax said he saw a poll where fifty percent of guys said they don't use it. It doesn't make sense to him either. Yeah, that's because that's what it's there for. And, like, the only article I ever saw online, it was written by a fucking woman talking about how, like, oh, dudes are too big to fit through the hole anyway. And I was like, oh, you know, maybe the dude you're fucking with that's wearing, like, a fucking five-year-old's, you know, boxer briefs, I guess my dick might not fit through that. But, like, mine, like, I can fit my arm through mine, like, to the shoulder. Your dick's not bigger than my fat arm. Like, it's just not. I'm sorry. So, like, Fuck. It, it's ah, and that was the biggest argument. Like, who fits to those anyway? Lol. It's like, oh yeah, you know, you're you, you fuck you. First of all, my dick has a circumference of like thirty inches. And fuck Puma for the boxers I'm currently wearing. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, that, uh, like we were talking about it. If you it? if you I are, I didn't notice because why would you look out for such insane? If you are at the urinal, like there's nothing more convenient than the fucking dick hole in your underpants. Exactly. It's, just, it's like oh, most men go over the fence. Like so you're saying, you're saying. Saying that they're standing at the urinal and they go they, over the they, fence. They pull their pants down slightly so or, their ass is showing. Like, like, oh, I wear a belt. I always wear a belt. Yeah. I, I have to wear a belt. So are you saying that men will unbuckle and unbutton their belt and go over the fence? So not only are they holding their dick but holding their pants up at the same time and the the underwear threatens, the elastic band threatens to kind of like pinch the flow off just a little bit. Yes, yeah, so you're so you a little more drops inside your pants and you pull it back yeah. in. Now the fucking hole like I'm wearing just normal Fruit of the Loom 
underwear. Yeah, here's that pull it right what, through. What, what, what about the guys who who are like farmers and they all wear overalls? They fucking like undo the whole damn thing, s- 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 drop trow and fucking like pull out their dick just to whiz in the fucking outdoors. I don't yeah. think you're so. assuming they are wearing underpants while in their overalls. Yeah, so here's That's the process true. now. It's unbuckle the belt, which makes it even easier for them. <laughs> unbutton the pant, unzip the pant. Push the boxers painfully because they're skin tight Puma boxers, of course, because they don't have any form or elasticity. It's just skin. Maybe, maybe you just bought a size too small. <laughs> well, that's the thing is there's no there's no give in them. There's no give. It doesn't exist. So it's like supposed to be at what it is because I got the pant the pant size that I am, and they are a little tight, but they're tight in the way that's like, oh, you're a chick, not a dude. And I'm like, Maybe no. That's what it's for. I think, dude, I don't fucking know what it's for. But like, Maybe I, it's for those dudes who want to be chicks. I don't. It's yeah. And, okay. and so I have to like fucking. So they got to tuck. So I, I, I unbuckle, unbutton, unzip, push the fucking boxers painfully, and like, like push them down underneath my balls, <laughs> like straddle, have them like slap up with the balls and cock, and then piss. And it's like, if you have a wall of dudes at a fucking <laughs> urinal, everyone's balls are out now. It's like, not only do you have the off chance of accidentally seeing someone's dick when you walk in, it's their dick and balls. Like, nobody wants to fucking see that. Nobody. You know, there's also and these another... fucking boxers make it mandatory. And like, at these these big concert venues, they just have a wall of urinal. Like you just, And there's no fucking privacy barrier. There's no like, I, mean, yeah. I don't want to see your dick. I mean, I've seen, it's a, just fucking... I've seen a fucking urinal that's just one stainless steel fucking fucking tray exactly. that it's, goes across the whole wall in one train. It's beautiful. In the but it's when beautiful. Your everyone's balls are out, it's fucking weird. And that's what Puma wants, is everyone's balls out. <laughs> Less balls, more cock. That's I don't know I about say. you. I, I, I could fucking put my whole cock and balls through the, through the fucking dick flap anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we should just start doing that. Yeah. <laughs> just cock and balls through the dick flap. Um, but no, no, now they have underwear that has like a special <laughs> little pouch just for your dick. Just like, just be normal. Like you just what? put on the like underwear, a dick pocket and then inside put, your underwear. And put your 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 dick inside the dick pocket and just have that. Or would be that there. be like a, instead of going down your the, leg? Would, would that be like a dick sheath or a dick holster? <laughs> like what would you call that? Uh, uh, the, like we got dick pocket, dick sheath, dick holster. Yeah. Which one do you guys like better? I like the holster. I probably just call it the holster though. The holster. But, yeah, I love the trench, the trench fucking urinals. Like it's so genius. But <laughs> that's the thing, though, is like we give that up. We if we give that up. Our right to fucking awkward bathroom. So yeah, <laughs> we we give that up with unisex bathrooms. So I I don't mind the idea. It's just like you're not taking the urinals. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna. I, and then everyone like why even why even but why. Why would you do that? Like most bathroom trips are to piss. Why would you want to make it longer? Their next clothing line is going to be like onesies that don't have an ass flap. Yeah, <laughs> I so just you, so you got to take them off every time you got to shit. I'm just at a loss, man. I I, I think it's insane and fuck Puma and uh, I mean they're nice boxers. Other than that, but I mean that's a big <laughs> fucking detractor. <laughs> having to fucking they have nice dick feel but uh yeah <laughs> and i mean my balls are aired oh, no. out more than they were before what? i'm trying to find a pi- <laughs> i'm trying to find <laughs> no. a you're picture trying of, to find what a picture of the fucking penis pocket <laughs> underwear <laughs> and i'm so you're finding just, it? You're just finding dick pics? <laughs> no, just ridiculous underwear that I'd rather not look at. Uh, uh, like, like, like this. <laughs> Where, I, I fucking showed you guys, like, the elephant song. Yeah, yeah but, like, where is the other end being held on? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Like, what's providing the tension? I, I don't know. <laughs> is it just, like, wrapped around the- <laughs> I think it's just wrapped around the it's one leg. Be, logically, it's got to be a pizzazz hole. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's literally just wrapped around his leg, and it's supposed to just holster the dick. I, I'm hoping. It doesn't even cover the whole fucking I'm hoping ass. It's, uh, it's like a cup, so it's like a, it's like a, it's like a deflated balloon, right? <laughs> and one end, you've got like an ad, a butt plug where you stuff the, the, the one end in, and then it just like tautly grabs your balls. <laughs> 
And so like it doesn't go all the way around. It just pulls your balls in a way that like it never lets go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's not what I was looking uh, for. That's on Amazon right there. Yeah. That's perfect. Both of them were. Those are powerful pairs of underpants. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know anymore. Oh, what? <laughs> Draw <a> string. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh, that, was, man. that one's literally <laughs> just like a coin purse <laughs> yeah oh uh, yeah so that's oh, it's not what i was looking for but that's fantastic yeah. yeah so that's that's my return to grievance and then also the lack of urinals that craig said really bothered me because that's like yeah more people have more bathrooms available but the line's are just right for dudes you're, and you're terrible literally for only women. looking at this from like random uh concert stuff like they could just put in more bathrooms yeah but they won't craig you can say they could just do this and it's like yeah but yeah, they're not going to it doesn't matter i'm just saying like it would it be, does it would if be i wait longer for a shitload of people and you're you're only looking at it from the perspective of like one random event and not like I'm looking total. at it from the perspective of the ease of 50% of society. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's easy to use a urinal. It is. Yeah. So of the people who say they that they never use it, we need to take a poll. I'm just of, uh, of the of the same subset of people and see how many of them use the urinal, and how many of them use a the stall. Yeah. Yeah. So if we if we f- poll that and find out that number, then that might explain why only 50% of men use the hole and we can shut this shit down once and for all yeah because the hole man i think joe said he doesn't use the hole either and i'm just like dude what i mean what do you maybe they just have a bad a bad brand of underwear like maybe I mean, some of them you gotta like literally. snake it through you know it's like the fucking the little middle eastern sign like like like, like, like the unpair underwear i have right now it's 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 like such an easy it's like flat fucking piece. slither and through, charming. just like fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Get a snake charm your no, dick No, no, no. Like, like maybe they should make a, the, the dick hole or the dick flap like a pair of curtains. You can just draw back. <laughs> yeah, you just pull on a string and it just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and here's the main event. Yeah, <laughs> I I don't know, man. Something. <laughs> I, it's going in a weird direction, and I don't know how. It's obviously not that huge because I have plenty of boxes that still have the yeah. thing. Yeah, and you're always um, gonna have it. Yeah, but I. It's weird that people are. If pushing. designer underwear gets rid of it, so what? I don't wear that. Yeah, it's weird that's being pushed for though, and I like I don't understand why. I don't get because everyone needs their issue to push. I, I guess there's some lack of equality there, but it's like I, you know what? I sorry, your stuff's all kind of tucked up. Mine's not really tucked up, unless it's really cold. <laughs> you know, it's like I don't know. It's fucking stupid to me. And Craig, you fucking goddamn you, Craig! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna go opposite. It's gonna be nothing but trough urinals, like trough <laughs> trough urinals. Everyone just like leans over and takes a shit into this trough. I thought the whole, I thought the <laughs> whole idea was to conserve water. You want to have a fucking trough? A trough where it's just the piss, and you clean it out once a day, oh. and that's the water you use. You let the piss oh. run free down the drain. God, you're going real green. Yeah, <laughs> I'm proud of you. Yeah. That's progressive right there. <laughs> and the shit troughs, that uses no water. <laughs> yeah. Fuck the Black Plague. We we survived it once, we'll survive it again. Oh man. That's 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 how you get rid of lines. Troughs. <laughs> this fucking you make it like a giant uh like one of those like weed sh- wheat shredder things, like the the towers. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. You go all the way up the tower. You just like shit down, so like it holds all this shit, and then they just use it for soil. Yeah, there you go. I mean, they already do that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, not without your elaborate tower idea, but human uh, bio soil is a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Your shit's being sold, Craig, and you're not being paid for it. Yeah, it's uh, you're paying for it in some cases. Yeah. Your own, your own shit. Mm. Just know that they're very slim chance, very like fucking slim chance. But you might have eaten something that was grown with your own shit. <laughs> you, know? you have literally eaten your own shit, Craig. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. 
I mean, he'd, he'd do it anyway. Yeah, no. Don't you guys do that anyways? <laughs> Fuck, that'd be awful. <laughs> the idea of that. Yeah. God, I, <sighs> I saw a show or something once where a dude did that to survive, and I was like, oh, oh. It was awful. How would you do that to survive? That I think he drank his piss. Yeah. No, it was like I, I, I can't remember. It involved shit, but oh god, it was. Oh, just thinking about it makes me want to barf. I mean, making your own biofuel. The Martian did that. Uh, yeah. Not biofuel, but uh, fertilizer. Yeah. Uh, well, you guys got anything else? Nah. All right. Well, I think nope. that's going to be it for this episode of After Dark. Thanks for hanging out, guys. 385-204-3921. That's where you can send your voicemails. And we hope to hear from you guys soon. Till then, see you next time.